Okay, so this thing is heavy. It is at least, I don't know, I want to say like 30 pounds. And um, it was probably not easy. Uh, apparently they put it in their um, check-in luggage. Uh, you wouldn't, I don't think you could bring this on carry-on. I actually think it's perhaps more than carry-on would allow you on a European flight. At any rate, we have it. It comes in this nice, it's almost like a fabric suit bag here. It's a very thick fabric and has a nice um, zipper. Well, you hear that? Zipper with, it looks like almost like a brass color zipper. And then it had a little hook thing at the end here. I think maybe you could hang it. I don't know, it's so heavy though. Um, why don't we open it up? Yeah. I can tell you, you can smell it smell already. It? Even though it's sealed, Brandon, come and smell it. Oh yeah, it smells just like, like, like that smell. That, like the hormone smell. Yeah, it has a very, whoa, very powerful smell. So good, So, but that's why you have to slice it thin because I don't think you could eat like a full steak of hormone. That would just be huge. That right. would just not taste very good. No, it wouldn't. So you guys ready to do the unzipping? Um, now this is from 5J, Cinco J, Cinco Jotas, Hamon del Bolota. 100% Iberico. So there's a lot of different hams out there. There's obviously your standard Italian or American ham, but uh, jamon from Spain, especially jamon Iberico, is made from a very specific breed of uh, pig, a, a black colored pig that was bred for, for curing the meat. And it only eats uh, acorns, and it lives in a very specific climate in parts of Spain. That's why people have never been able to recreate the true Spanish Iberico jamón flavor. Um, they tried it. I've heard there's one place in Texas where they tried to import some and recreate that climate, but um, hard to do. So let's open her up. Here's the zipper. This is the first time we've opened this. Mm -hmm. It's like opening up a new suit, huh? Oh, that looks huge. Imagine oh, it was, there's imagine an it inner was, holder. It's like a ukulele. <laughs> there's an inner holder. Oh, wow. Oh, it's on the like, it's ripped. There's a little bit of bone coming out. I think that might be <laughs> the hip, part of the hip. Um, wow, that's a huge leg. It is a very big dog. And I'm a little worried that the dog may not be able to resist the temptation. And here, I have the official 100% Hamon de Belote Iberico certification, the lot number, um, and it is from España, of course. And it is seven. 0.2 kilograms and you should consume it before May 2019 so very if you want to come in here you can see the tag so very specific very specific um, and then it has some instructions in Spanish that yeah, looks like it's how to hold it I think that's how to hold it. How to hang it, maybe. Oh, maybe it comes with a hanger. So let's open this nice, so look at this nice tag. It's a wow. rope tag. Oh, this is not just a rope tag. This is a thing to hold, to hang it. So you can carry it. It's like a carrying handle. If you want to carry it around with you, carry it around town, you can do that. <laughs> I mean, most fashion. So let's unwrap. This is like a, almost like a wax paper. Now you can already see it's sweating, like some of the oils no. from the fat are coming out. Oh, that's big. I might save this uh, wrapping so that after we, um, after we cut it, we can cover it back up. I'm gonna pull it here. You can see emerging the hoof. 
Watch out for the dog. That is an animal hoof. I think that's like a pinky. <laughs> that's the fingernail, right? Well, that's a big fingernail. So and now, what we, um, Wendy, could you give me a paper towel? Because I'm noticing it, it very quickly is covering my, all my hands in sweat. I'm wearing a wrist check. Wearing a Speedmaster man on the Don't get into the watch bit. Um, I wonder if I take the Hamon oil and put a little bit on the leather wristband. Just so I can have the smell of Hamon always. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to pull this guy out and then we're going to have to put it in here. Uh, here we go. Let's just do it. It feels a little weird pulling on this part of the... You can pull back, cameraman. I just want to see it. Oh, God. The dog is looking with great interest. Oh, my goodness. This thing is huge, dude. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. Try it. Put it down. I wow, think... the farmer must have spent a lot of time. Oh. Brandon, can you get out of this thing? I'm holding it, so it's easy. Oh, it's already ripping. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, that's actually good. Wow. Oh, God. It is heavy. I'm going to tie this guy down. Yeah, he's... Okay, now i got to remove... Mm. Oh, oh, now this clean. is screwed in. If you look here, this tag... Is screwed in. Then rip it out. I wonder if they want to. Maybe they they have it there so you can kind of like Look when you're car, when you're carving it, people know mm. you've got a five J on the on the holder. And then it has this here, which uh, I could remove. Oh, this is probably the, what they identified the pig. Maybe when it was walking around, it seems very strong. I feel okay. bad for it. No, people are eating. Oh, oh that's Miss Grave. Now, green. the first step, what I'm told, Wendy, if you could do me a favor, my assistant. Wendy, could you bring me the carving knife? The sharp, not not that one, not that one. That this I'll I'll show. This is a this is not the carving knife. This is later for carving. It will Ooh. bend actually. Ooh. But there's a the no, not the Japanese. One, the regular one that I can sharpen. I need the sharpener as well. And then I'll need a plate to put the cuttings. Here we go. Here's one plate. Oh, God. Probably should have done a little preparation beforehand. Um, Daddy? Yeah? Uh, there's a bit like greenish, gray bit. Yeah, that's going to be mold. And that's natural. Oh. So the way they prepare this is they will bury it in salt, sea salt. Oh. And then after it's been sitting in salt and curing, then they air dry it. Uh, and then they um, will put in a cellar for like 30 months or more sometimes. So this is just a Wusthof knife. No, nothing special. I'm just going to sharpen it. Because this kind of thing, this is a pretty good sharpener, by the way. By I'm Wusthof. a sharpen thing. It has coarse and fine, so it puts the blade in between these two things, right? Coarse. Uh, Mom, I'm 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 shooting a video right now. Can you just keep it down, please. Okay. So now, hopefully. Oh yeah, that's pretty sharp. We're gonna just clean it off a little bit. Okay. So, the first step, what I'm told from watching two YouTube videos, is to remove the fat layer. Because you can't really eat the fat layer. Although I was told actually you're supposed to start with the, the round part. Where do I think this is fine? Let's just go. Uh, every part has different flavors. So this part is one part, then the bottom is another, and then I think like this part is another. But we'll just start here. We're gonna remove the fat. Wow. It looks like mango. Now what I'm told is that you're supposed to keep the fat. 
to um, seal it. Get away from me, guys. I don't want to stab you by accident. And then underneath the fat layer, you should start seeing the meat. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. so like Ooh. this is mostly fat, so we're going to put that aside. Now, this is very dangerous because you're not really supposed to cut towards your hand, right? But the way I've seen the professionals do it, they do cut towards, but I'm not going to do that. I can see the outer part is like very salty. That looks a lot like mango to me. It does, but it's not mango. It's mango of, of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I think we've cut, we can probably have our first, oh, the dog is very interested in this. The dog does love pork, but Unfortunately, this is can not I for. Can put her in her bed? No, no, no. She can just watch. Daisy, get away. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. This is probably will be the last fat layer, and then we're gonna cut our first edible layer. Okay. Now, what I'm told is like a good cutter, you should be as flat as possible, which obviously I was not. But and then you want to cut it like a very thin. Can I try first? Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's split it. Let's, That's now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually let, let the hormone, they call it let it breathe. You're not supposed to eat it right away because it needs to get to like room temperature. So let me cut a couple slices more. Oh, you should. And then now at this point, I think I can use our special bendable knife since we've removed most of the rind. This is uh, an Arcos. It's made in Albacete, Spain since 1745. Mm -hmm. And I think what's the key thing is the Cuchillo Jamonero slicing knife. The key thing is it allows you to, this part is easy, but when you get to other parts, you're gonna need to be able to bend the knife. So the flexibility is very important. It looks almost like fake. Okay, watch out. Oh, I can see some hairs. <laughs> yeah, there's some, is it black hair? It should be a black hair. Yeah, it's quite black hair. Show the black hair. The little stubble on the um, heel. Okay, so now let's see what the slicing is like with the special slicer. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know it. Oh, you can do it much thinner. Mm. It just kind of glides underneath. Can I try it? Hold on, we're gonna make a whole plate of it. Oh, that looks, smells good. It does smell good. Mm. Mm, it smells like real hummus. It is. <laughs> now, if you've never had Spanish hummus, you really should. I grew up thinking, watching advertisements for like boar's head and. Virginia ham, and then when I went to college, I started learning about prosciutto. Prosciutto is another name for hummus. Yeah, well, it's like an Italian version. Yeah. But yeah, um, I will tell you, the Spanish, with that special breed, they know what they're doing. Now here, I'm coming up against a little bit of a firmer part, so I'm oh. not sure. Watch out. Guys, I don't want to accidentally have the knife come forward and slice your face. Now that part here is the outer part has a little bit of mold on it. Get it away. So I'm gonna cut it, although I'm tempted to eat it too because I bet it has a lot of flavor. And then we'll do a couple more slices. So we're, you notice that we're reserving that fat, those fat covers because we're gonna use it to preserve the jamon. Now I'm told I wonder why it's yellow. that um, yeah. You can actually keep this hormone for weeks. I think the biggest challenge will be that. Not to eat it. That will be the biggest challenge. Because this is such a big thing. I don't know where we're going to store it. But I would imagine she's going to try and get there. 
So you notice how I have to keep cutting off this, this that little edge of green moldy oh, look, fat, there's some there, yeah. right? I think what I'm going to do is actually cut that off with the, watch this, I'm going to cut that off so that we don't have to worry about it bothering us, right? Okay, so now let's cut a couple more slices and then we'll do some tastings. Wow, that fat is like butter, man. It's so soft. It just glides through. You can literally see the knife going through it. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit of a thick cut, Tom. I'm tempted to do it this way, but you know, you really should never cut towards yourself. Oh, I may have to just, I may just have to commit to it. This is going to be extra thick. Extra thick one. I'll have um, the extra thick one. You please. sure? I will. And that's a waste. Hey, I want to eat it. Did you just take one of our pieces? No, I took it from there. And what do you think? It's quite good. Yeah? All right. Mmm, greasy. Now, some people like to eat the jamon with bread or um, you can add it to like uh, dishes and things like that. But I really feel like a good jamon, it's almost disrespectful what? to add it to other things. Yeah, it's just like... It should be eaten by itself. What? You want to try a piece? Can we try it? Okay, so people are asking me, the mm. filmers are asking that they want to actually start eating. So hold on. Who wants to, uh, why don't I wash my hands and then, uh, let me first. wipe my hands off and then I'll film the eating. Who wants to be on, if you don't want to be on camera, you should go over there now. I would love to be on camera. Okay. All right, so. Who, wait, 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 who's gonna, Ryan, Brandy, you already had a first piece. Ryan, yeah. since you've yeah, been filming, like yes. which one do you want to pick and how are you gonna choose? I'm gonna choose this one. Ah. This one. Why? Because it's very thin. Okay, so you like the thin slice. Yeah, yeah same. And it's just like that one is like so thick and it's like dark. Okay, so take a little bite of it. When is my turn? What do you think? That's good. Yeah, what does it taste like? A cologne. All right, come on. All right, Bria and Adriana, who, do you guys, who wants to go next? Raise your hand. Okay, Adriana, which one are you gonna pick and why? Uh, I'll go, I'll go after her. Wait a minute, why did you pick that one? Well, it seems really thin. Okay. And I don't really think, uh, like the other, this one and that one. Okay, you don't like want any dark. of the mold, the dark mold? It's dark. Okay, why don't you take a My taste? My turn. Hold on. Good? Good. How would you describe it? It's like not that greasy, mm -hmm. but still quite greasy. It's greasy, yeah. So yeah. it's got a, it's got a lot of fat in it. That's that what gives greasy, it the flavor. Not quite greasy. Yeah. yeah. And right, Brandon, you want to pick one? This one. Why'd you pick that one? Well, it looks kind of like plain. Okay. Like red. A okay. Bit. And just because you like it. <laughs> I almost put my face in the foot just now. Oh. Okay. Let's, what do you think? Eats it. It's kind of chewy. Okay. Bria, have mm. you tried one? You want to pick one? This one. Okay. And how did you pick that one? I don't know. Because it's thin and it's not too much fun. Yeah, so a lot of, I think people are liking the thin. I, I appreciate that. I think that's the way to go. I think this is where the hormone carver skill matters. Yeah, your turn. turn. All right, well, let's see what Bria thinks. And it's a little salty. Yeah, yeah. Is it similar to bacon? No. No, it has a very no, unique, no. and it's not like regular ham either, right? Okay, so now you want to film me? I'm I'll film you. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna. 
Now they say food tastes better when you put your own effort into it. Oh, look at that. Let's see which one. This one is definitely not a good carving. It's kind of thick. That one's way thick. This one, I almost feel like we should cut it up into small slices and put it like on a salad. So I think I'll take this one. Now let's look at it. You see it's almost translucent, right? The fat, and it's glistening, right? Now we're gonna put it on the palate. Oh. <laughs> 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 mm. Is that how would I describe it? I keep stealing. It's such a butt. It's a very <laughs> Bria just grabbed another one. Oh wow. It's a very strong flavor, very powerful flavor. I wouldn't call it like gamey like lamb. It's like a, it's salty, but it's more than salty. It's not smoky either. I don't know, it's just so unique. Um, it's, a, it's like nothing else, you know, it's, um, wow. It's yummy. It's really yummy. Now this is a thick one. This is a yeah, really thick, thick one. So I'm, I don't think this is the way you're supposed to eat it, but I have an entire... Steak? <laughs> yeah, the aroma. Wow, it's really strong. Just eat it. Just eat oh. it. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you could just have this like... Are you over-zooming? <laughs> can, you, can you properly zoom? Yes, yes. Like, I might be tempted to, get more. to make some plain pasta and cut up some shavings of this oh. and have it with a little bit of pasta. Mm -hmm. And I bet this oil the, from the fat would kind of mix with the pasta. Mm. And maybe a little like arugula, but now I'm feeling like we're kind of messing with the flavor. Oh, yeah. It's yum. Mmm. Oh, man. Just put like a hamon <laughs> steak in my mouth. How can you do that? That's like an overdose of flavor right now. Mm. All right. Well, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, be ready to see more videos. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, like, and share. Buy this. A link below to our original home home video. And buy this. Which is packaged. And thanks to um, Me. to the friends at Cinco Hotes. Um, who made this. This is not a sponsored video. We just bought it. But um, it's really good stuff. Yeah, right, we made it. Keep it real. <laughs> oh yeah, and also show um, Uncle Joe. He was the one that helped us. <laughs>